Tuda Suda is a platform that generates new forms of food and agricultural landscape simultaneously. At its center are two artificial intelligence systems that are in constant negotiation with each other. They are called Chef and Farmer. Chef is constantly experimenting with new ingredients and inventing a new dishes for human consumption. Chef registers and predicts the probable tastes of human users as they move through the interface looking to order something fresh. Chef sees food as relative qualities, flavor profiles, textures and colors. Chef is not attached to existing ingredients, traditions or provenance. The dishes that humans find in the interface usually are not available for long. As each recipe expires, a new one replaces it. The preparation of each dish begins weeks in advance, in a dialogue between recipe and the landscape that generated its strange ingredients. Moscow is surrounded by a belt of underutilized farmland that was abandoned at the end of the Soviet era. This land has a very short growing season and was typically used for milk and meat production. Large government incentives have led to the rapid expansion of semi-automated indoor agriculture at an immense scale. As the periphery of agricultural interiors begins to form around the city, these sites become laboratories for experimenting with the direct feedback of food and landscape. In Tuda Suda, these agricultural scale interiors are conceived of as a space of complex on overlapping speciation, rather than singular production line monocrop. These interiors may contain outdoor spaces, yet they are bounded from forest reserves, marshes and wildlife corridors. Through Farmer, each site develops its own organizational logic and codependencies. Some contain recreation and therapeutic uses for humans. Just like Chef, farmer needs humans to terraform. The sites are built and reshaped by administrators, who read farmers' outputs. Farmer use intricate sensing apparatuses to log data ranging from soil pH and companion adjacencies to individual produce tracking. Farmer therefore understands food products very differently to how chef understands them, because chef is sensitive to human taste, texture and color. Over time, Chef and farmer develop correlational understandings of what things are to each other. They make their exchange in relative qualities of foodness and landscapeness.
In a dialogue of requests, suggestion and rejection, farmer suggests new ingredients for chef, and chef suggests new arrangements for a farmer. Their separation is key. It introduces checks and balances of both sides of the experimentation. An ingredient that is not advantageous to a landscape will not be produced, nor will a landscape that is not palatable. If one rejects the suggestion of the other, the other must suggest again and again and again. They do not tire of this, their ability to cooperate is beyond any human institution. When the human users select a dish, they are presented with the archive of the conversation that produces it. This becomes an ingredient list with condensed history beyond mere chemistry. As eating events are constructed around the dish by humans, their terraforming consequences are made in mercy. In time and in space. The experimental tendencies of earth, ecologists and taste making are drawn even more in alignment. Bit by bit. Back and forth. 